forget Graceland. Elvis fans may want to consider Cleveland to celebrate a special date in history. Mike Brookbank explains around town. The king of rock and roll would have turned 78 tomorrow. And why not celebrate at Cleveland's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame here at the Elvis exhibit? From his bedazzled white jumpsuit to his shiny purple Lincoln Mark IV, there is no shortage of memorabilia in Cleveland keeping the music and memory of Elvis Presley alive. Presley is credited with starting the rock and roll revolution and holds the record for the most top 40 hits, among many others. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1986. Also topping our list of must-see memorabilia, this jukebox RCA Records gave Presley, filled with his hits of course. So crank up a little blue suede shoes and cook up a fried peanut butter and banana sandwich fit for a king. I posted a recipe to make Elvis's favorite sandwich on my Facebook page, Mike Brookbank The List. Roll up your sleeve, it's time to share a life-saving gift. I enjoy giving to people if people need it. January is National Blood Donor Month. We get a free cup of coffee. There's no losers here. Bill Bateman, a regular donor, belongs to the self-proclaimed Friday Morning Coffee Club at the American Red Cross in Cleveland. We talk a lot, we joke a lot. We, we are, we're a rowdy crowd on Friday mornings. These guys donate together regularly and encourage those who are afraid of blood and needles to join them especially this time of year, when donations slow because of the holidays and bad weather. The first time's the hardest, and it's just very simple after that, extremely simple after that. Simple when friends help to distract you from what's going on with your arm. You don't feel like you're losing any time when you're spending it with friends. For The List, I'm Mike Brookbank.